Uh, even though the latest track takes Delta's landfall potentially 225 miles or so away, it still has Mobilians very concerned about what could happen so soon after Hurricane Sally. NBC 15's Jaysha Patel has a look tonight at how locals continue to prepare. I just feel like they're running out of time to get the junk up before the next storm comes. Today was the first day crews were on Margaret Street, according to Krista White. She didn't want her face on camera, but says there's still work to be done around her home and street. That makes me worry because, I mean, if they don't get it cleaned up before the storm comes, we're going to have to clean up last storm's mess and the storm's mess. She has a few pet ducks at her home, and ironically, one was named Delta. And she um, got a respiratory infection after the last hurricane, after Sally, and she did not make it. And now we have Hurricane Delta coming. She says she's hoping that's not a sign for what's to come. That was the first thing I thought when I saw the name of the storm. It made, That kind of makes me worried a little bit. Just a few streets over, Traddy Aulis has her eye on Delta. I guess my one concern would be because we've just had Sally, uh, I'm wor worried that perhaps Delta could finish off some of the trees that have weakened in Sally. She says right now, flooding is on her mind. I really want, you know, I've become a little more aware of flood zones because we've never been in a flood zone until they redid the maps. And my house is literally the dividing line. Alice says she works at Bragg Mitchell Mansion and hopes Delta doesn't cause any damage there. We always think about our trees. You know, that's one of the biggest attractions of the beautiful trees in addition to that wonderful house. For now, though, it's all a waiting game. I keep a close eye on it. I always watch for it and we'll see. You know, I, I'll have things to put away. I want to make sure that, that, you know, if we did need to evacuate, that we could be ready for that. Jaysha Patel, NBC 15 News.